What? Yeah, it's unlikely that uh, there are two infections at the same time. So, so it's likely well, that just, so. So possibly this one infection is uh, a hybrid one, and it has a component which makes. Well, I think there is two diseases. One is the cold and flu, and the other is the COVID virus. The flu is out there as well, which is a different disease altogether. And a lot of people die from the flu as well. Um, no, COVID is a flu, but uh, it has maybe, uh, maybe it's a hybrid flu which brings those troubles. Okay. Um, but I, I, I know that before this COVID virus, Mm -hmm. Many thousands of people die of the flu every year. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that added on to the COVID virus makes it very difficult to, <coughs> to you know, tell which is which for some people. COVID is a flu virus. It possibly has insertions of um, something that causes blood problems. But, um, you know, it's, we know that it is a, uh, flu virus because um, it has a sequence and when people are diagnosed they they really look at the RNA sequence and they recognize it so it's it's pretty much I mean it, it, there cannot be two viruses going in parallel because you know we know that uh, there is a party where everybody get it, gets it so they get tested and uh, the, the RNA sequence of the COVID virus is tested, so we know it is. This is it, and COVID is um, the main sequences of, of the flu virus, pretty mild, but somehow they made it into into the blood disease. So they inserted something possibly that gives that trouble. Yeah, because it is. Yeah, it does affect it in the blood definitely. And uh, it's not typical for for other COVIDs. So there, there is some some. Um, modification. Also, mm, just a thought. Maybe there was uh, a history of something of vaccination or infection which makes the person re uh, blood blood react to it. But so the, obviously, the, some people take it uh, with no problem, and others die well, from it. So. It seems like the. The people that die from it have the pre-existing blood diseases such as uh, sugar diabetes, high blood pressure, and those kinds of things because it attacks them in a, in a much harder way. Um, it, it's an immune. It, ha it cannot be diabetes, sugar, or other things. It has to be immune. There is an immune reaction to the virus which makes the blood, so it's 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 much stronger than just uh, poor proportions. It's it's uh, more like if you are immune to the something. If there is a, if, it, it's very specific. Uh, it's like from like some people have nothing and some people have very strong reactions. So there is a jump, and that jump cannot be quantitative. It has to has to be quali qualitative. There should okay. be some very specific um, factor like whether they were vaccinated or whether there was some immune uh, exposure to something which makes them react. We'll you find out there, in eventually. Do you think there are people that are immune to it just naturally? Oh, of course, but no, no, I'm saying the other way around, that immunity developed some, some reaction which, which is deadly. So if they were vaccinated against something and now they have the virus, uh, then the, the blood basically is, is shutting down, whatever, like becoming very thick. So that's like um, two things come together and they, they kill a person. Both, both immune reactions, just uh, immunity is um, designed to be very specific. There are like very specific um, antibodies in the, in, the, in, in the blood and very specific uh, responses. And somehow they mess them up that um, this response is, no, it's like a blood allergy. It's very, very strong blood allergy to the virus. I see. Yeah. Um, I've never read anything like that. Uh, well, let's wait, we'll see. I mean, they will discover it eventually, maybe. 
Okay. So many people are working on that, they will discover it. So the yeah, main- There's so many, so many things out there with all these different uh, informations in, but they vary a little bit here and there with some of the facts and figures. So it's hard to know which one is absolutely correct because I'm not a doctor and I don't study medicine, but I do see that it does affect people that have blood, that have uh, more blood oriented pre-existing diseases. I see, uh-huh. Um, that makes sense. Uh, so the main uh, development in the last, Four days is the, the there is a, that a, a person came out. Uh, her name is Mikovits or Mikovits. I don't know how they call call it. Mik Mikovits. Mikovits. T S. Mikovits. A uh, Judy Mikovits, and um, uh, she is very knowledgeable. She is a virus expert, like super virus expert, one of the top. I don't know. One of the top experts and. Um, um, the movie is called Plan Demic. Um, and YouTube is actively deleting it, but um, it's still, you know, it's still making people just re-upload it. It's just half an hour movie. And uh, she already was... Um, um, uh, affected, she was imprisoned by the criminal, by the criminal medical establishment. So they clearly used some police force to imprison her, but you know, luckily they didn't kill her. And uh, she is very strong and very interesting. She interesting. is like my, my my age. You know, I think uh, incarnationally her her energy is really good. She is like very strong person. Yes, uh, like, and it's called Plandemic. I saw that written somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's available. Just ask, you know, listen to it. Um, I, it's on my, my wall as well in Facebook. I re-uploaded it too. So... Um, you can send it to me. Sure. So, um, uh, the story goes that uh, the criminals at the top Fauci and um, I forgot the NIH boss and a um, few others. She, she names specific names and she knows them. You know, they have been doing crimes for, for a while and she describes these crimes and um, she says it's an organized crime. So, uh, and what was the purpose of this one? Um, She says they're making money on vaccines, which I think is uh, an understatement. No, but this, no vaccines have come out yet. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, they're going to make money on the vaccines. Is that what she's saying? They're yeah, going to yeah. make it? Yeah, that okay. was her suspect. But I mean, her main story is their history of, of um, pretty bad um, crimes against humanity, like killing was, millions. Was um, Bill Gates named as one of them? I don't think so. I don't think uh, that he is a criminal, but a lot of people are accusing him of being one of those criminals. But I don't really think he is, but I don't know. I think he, so, he is. I think he huh? is. I think he is. He's part okay. of the system. I think he's part of the system and uh, uh, public face of the a lot of things. I think he is yeah. like one of the um, uh, just faces. He is not uh, a big actor. I think um, he has been driven from above by um, reptilians or some sauce or like by the cabal. There is a lot of things. He's done so many other really good and charitable things to be in included in this would seem just the opposite of that. What What's charitable about his actions? Well, he's given, he uh, worked a, and did charity work around the world. No, no, so. no, it was, uh, it was a vaccine experiments. No, no, that was um, uh, ex 
how the extermination of poor nations. They they give them bad vaccines. They spread disease. No, I I don't think that this was vaccine oriented. No, no, no. But he was I, giving I, vaccines I, to Africa and killed a lot of people. He did. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it smells know. like that. There is no evidence, but um, it feels I, like that. I, I think I that's don't... part of. Yeah, I don't know that. I uh, I researched the the conspiracy theories, and uh, there is a lot of bad stuff, like the criminals like, criminals killed uh, Marilyn Monroe and um, John Lennon, and so on. But they have mind control technologies. It's it's the system of oh, yes. uh, the, the DARPA and so on, and um, they're playing with vaccines and mind control for forever. And uh, that was just a public face for this vaccine program by the secret military program. Deep State, they call oh. it Deep State. So it's cabal playing uh, vaccine uh, genetic experiments. Okay. Well, I, I would think if they have mind control, they would control everybody's mind or try um, to. They don't, that's the, the goal, but they don't have it that advanced yet. The technology that's the is. That's is, the goal, though. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, the, the technology is still being developed. They cannot do it remotely. They need uh, implants. And the, the main purpose of this vaccines, vaccination is to give people implants. That's they what can I control it. They, they can control it with uh, implants, but uh, they need like to actually put implants in, in, a peop in, a per in people that, in, with chips and implants. and possibly a nano implant basically in the blood, but they need like- That's what I thought, nano chips, nano uh, bots. Yeah, so with nanobots they can do it, I think. Uh, and it's still pretty primitive, but at least they can. I know one person who is already uh, under control and he gets like the uh, computer voices in his head. The voices sound fine, but the messages are pretty much non-human and they don't stop they are not 24 hours so it's clearly like uh he's plugged in into artificial intelligence system so he's implanted oh who's that oh maybe um, you shouldn't say i don't even remember the name but i um um i had a pretty uh i had a session he had a session with me essentially and oh. uh I tried to help him, but apparently he liked his implants. He didn't want to get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> I, I, just like uh, when you, uh, when the Borg assimilates you, you don't want to become anything but Bo Borg. Yeah, he sort of, he was, he had dual intention. He wanted to control the stuff, but he, it was, for him, it was a miracle. Something that which makes, makes him special. And if you lose it, you don't have anything else. I see. He, 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 was, um, he was like, he was trying to kind of expose this conspiracy, but he didn't want to get rid of it. He wanted to keep, he wanted to keep that sense of transdimensionality, I guess. I see. That's interesting. Yeah. But I can understand that to a point. He wants you to know that there's a conspiracy, but he doesn't want to stop it. He wants you right. to get interested in it. And no. that's how they work, is they want you to get interested in all these conspiracy theories. So your attention is drawn away from the truth. Hmm. Um, uh, no. Um, yes. I disagree. No. no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying they're not going to give you the truth about a conspiracy theory they're going to try to mislead you about it so that you are that you are not aware when they are doing actually the really bad stuff they have a a, a face on it that's bad but there's even a worse face that they're hiding A lot of people get involved in these things 
and they can't get out because, and they can't think positively. They become fear, uh, frightened of everything that they, uh, all of these conspiracies, and that's what they want you to live in fear. Fear is a destroyer. It stops <clears throat> opportunity. It stops you from being fully yourself. So I, I see why they do it. Good point. Um, yeah. But there are some people that are bringing things to light that are truth. And if it's truth, then you sort of resonate with it, like this doctor that you were saying. Yeah, Drew Dimikovic. They call yes. it. You, that that kind of thing is the truth. It's not a conspiracy theory. Um, the borderline is vague. It is. Uh, let's call it conspiracy fact. Yeah, conspiracy facts <laughs> and good conspiracy theories are bad. <laughs> yes, all right. I I understand that. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Um. No, I think uh, conspiracy theory is a part of awakening. Well, uh, you don't deal with them the way I do. I have <clears throat> to listen to people uh, channel and they call on people and they're scared to death about some things that they shouldn't be. And the, the aliens have to tell them, don't be afraid of that. That's just look toward the, the positivity of things because that particular conspiracy is just trying to make you afraid and there's nothing you can do about it. So why get yourself involved with it? Because there's no way to change it. And there's no way if it comes toward you that you're going to change it or stop it. So why don't you involve yourself with the light so that when the darkness does come, you can fight it with something that is uh, potentially uh, helpful. That part we need to publish. That's interesting. But you know, there are other peoples who are other people who are learning about conspiracies and um, become stronger. They don't have to oh. become weaker. How do they become stronger? Um, you understand their plan, and once you have the understand what's happening, you're stronger because you have a uh, better understanding of what's happening. It's as long like, as you're not afraid of it, of anything. Yeah, as lo you, you lose fear because when you understand what, what, what to be afraid of, you understand the thing. Well, if you're positively driven and keeping your mind on positivity, then you can work yourself through it and not be afraid. Like a roller coaster, uh, you are very scared about roller coaster until you understand what it is, and then you're still scared, but not not as much. It's okay. a roller coaster, yeah. Yeah. Some people want to be afraid. It's like designed to scare you, but in fact, it's designed to keep you scared for for a ride, and then that's it. Nothing, yes, nothing. but. Those are the people that want to be afraid. If you want to ride a roller coaster, you want to feel that fear, that excitement. Mm -hmm. So that's the same with these conspiracy theories. You sort of want to be afraid of them. You sort of want to know what they are so you can be a little bit afraid uh, or they challenge your, um, your system a little bit. But a lot of them aren't true. They have to keep that in mind. That's the problem. They get involved with conspiracy theories and about half of them are, are bogus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a lot of fake conspiracy theories. And oh, absolutely. Of, Tons of them. Yeah, and also there is uh, even fake channelings. Uh, I think there are uh, lots of channels are just made by bad guys. Oh, yes, there is. And there's bad some guys, channels that yeah. were made long ago that they evolved into a negative outlook. I know of a particular channel that came out with wonderful 
wonderful stuff. And now everything th that's coming from him is dark, is very dark. And that is not, that's not how he started. It's weird. He changed. His agenda changed. It's very scary. I see. Yeah, no, no. I, I think there, 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 uh, there, there is a system on the planet where the uh, deep state secret military, military bad guys just transmit some channelings. You know, I think they have like transmitters for the channelings. Oh, I think you're right. I think that's true. There are some that pick up on that, yes. And also there are bad spirits that do that as well. Maybe bad aliens, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, if good aliens can do that, why can't bad aliens do that? Yes, they can, they can, absolutely. But so I um, pray all the time that I stay pure because it's so easy to drop away from that purity. It's so easy to get involved in the negativity, it really is. I mean, it's everywhere and it's, you can easily get involved in it. I, for one, uh, was very, I, I was watching Facebook for a while and it made me so upset that I had to stop watching it. Yeah, it's interesting, Facebook, yeah, it takes uh, uh, inner guidance, you know. Here, Facebook gives you something really nice, really sweet and really good. And then you go a little further and you get a step into some energetic dirt and you get dirt in. Yeah, exactly. It's horrible. So I... Uh, it's beautiful and then all of a sudden there's something horrible and neg negative right there. And you go, whoa. It's like watching porn. You see a beautiful woman and then there is something dirty about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's for, I know, we are recording so it's for the public. But yeah. <laughs> So, um, I was, we got distracted, but uh, I wanted to say that I was a few times, actually pretty often I get into that paranoid state when I'm, when I'm really afraid and when I have a really like strong conspiracy theory and um, I feel like they're getting after me. And at that point you get into the state, I get into the state of uh, resonating with some really bad fears. And everything falls into that um, trap of, uh, you know, everything. Uh, there is a lot of negative synchronicities. I think that is suspicious, that is a suspicious, and everybody else is suspicious, and everybody betrayed me, and so on. And I built a beautiful conspiracy theory. Oh, that was, that was a, um, Seven of Nine had that. There was an episode when she was under certain I don't remember, chemical or some other influence where uh, she was building beautiful conspiracy theories and they were so convincing that even other members of the crew, it's in Star Trek, they, they fell after that. Yes. And, so, and it was funny how she built like, like several conspiracy theories one after another and um, she was really believing them and acted upon them. So yeah, that state where you like, where you're creating your own Paranoid scenarios. It's called paranoia. Clear. That's, yeah. the, that's the definition of paranoia. You yeah. build unrealistic scenarios. So what I'm saying is it's like negative channeling. When you tune into that channel of the universe, or maybe the bad spirits give you a lot of proof that everybody is against you and you cannot trust anyone. And yeah. it takes some um, experience to recognize it. And then uh, say, no. Nah, I will create a new reality. And now I do it like hab habitually. I just know how to do it. Oh, I recognize that's, you know, a paranoia, typical paranoia for me. And now I, now I need to get out of it. And I get out of it just by uh, pure force, uh, will force, will force, will power. And now I'm creating a better reality. So you take the conspiracy theory and create a better reality out of it. Now, yeah, what do okay. I... What do I do with this conspiracy theory? So, uh, Judy Mikovits was a great source, is a great source. And once she explained how things work in that, in that scenario, I just realized it's not as scary as it seems. The actors are not as smart and the powers um, that do it are pretty, 
losing the battle, losing their their, their plan is not working. Obviously, well, things can go things can go wrong in many ways, but uh, it seems like they are very powerful, but they're not. Uh, it's like how to explain? It's like um, uh, you have a, a class and you're in full control of the class, but then something changes and you lose the control of the class and everybody is throwing things and laughing at you and you're not in control. So that's, they're pretty much at that state. They're, they're, the amount of control they have is only working where everybody is following them, following the agenda and when, when everybody is no. believing that they're in control. There are some of those that still have the control. They have the personality. They have the way to bring in subtle information that's negative and then eventually darken it and darken it and darken it until they have control of a large group of people. I don't know. They, they have lots of uh, power like military and police and secret police. Um, it's a weird things come up, like yes, um, in Vin, like there is a video in, in Vin, 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 Ventura County. Um, they arrest not only people with um, COVID, but also people who were in contact with those COVID carriers. They just grab people and move them. And they, they pretend to be very nice, but it's like. Um, how yeah, that's not nice at all. Yeah, that's. Um, uh, very much like China, very much like China, Chinese style. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, they have that lots of resources yet, but when people don't believe them, and uh, so my point is that it's not 1930s where dictatorships were like everywhere, like every country had had a dictator. Uh, there was a uh, vibration supporting dictatorships. Now, I don't see that. I see people are different and not as exhausted yet. Lots of people who are believing in good ideals. And it's, it, it would take a couple generations to, to mess things up. Even in Russia, to go from, um, from uh, pre-communist Russia to like really bad communism, it took a generation. It took um, a lot of effort and people were like really messed up before they well, were able to introduce the totalitarian system. It, it, it didn't happen at once. It takes no, it doesn't 20, happen 30, at once. It, it takes, takes 30 years of such messing up with the, with the st stuff to really make people follow the, the uh, dictatorship. Yeah, well, so it's already I'm pretty optimistic been. now. The thing is, the time is right for those kinds of changes, but you have to know exactly how to do it. So, um, did you want to channel with anybody? Okay. No, no, they, they have all expertise. Of, I think they're guided by the aliens, so they have lots of expertise. Oh, good dictators are there to, to consult them and um, uh, no, no, I think they, they know what they're doing, except the earth is not a good sub, sub, good um, uh, subject. It's not a good object to, to create a, an order. New world order is not possible because earth is pretty chaotic and the order is not possible here, at least at this time. It's all a mess. I don't think they can create order and in that vibration, they would have to change the vibration a lot to, to create order here. Mm. People are not afraid yet. Not afraid I, I think they, I personally think they've changed the vibration a lot toward the negative with this shutting down of the world. This is a, this is a very different thing that's ever happened in the history of mankind and it will make changes and it is starting to wake people up, but it's also making people angry and it's also waking people up to different things other than the light so i think that it is a dangerous time yeah i'm catching myself on in the desire to fight yeah when i hear about people arresting people 
police arresting people that, yeah, what if they come arrest me? Would they fight or would they follow with them? And the then they realized, is, right? yeah. That's just it. It, it yeah. It's become a time when anger is becoming very high. Yeah, and I realized I would just uh, explain to them or their leaders that I'm a, uh, I have connections and I'm uh, an, an NIH researcher and I'm uh, knowledgeable about vaccines and stuff. So I would uh, try to impress on them that I'm on their side and uh, have connections. Okay. <laughs> but uh, th that is... Uh, <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, th that is... Uh, their orders are to do one thing and they're really not there to discuss anything. No, so, no, no. no. In, in such a mess that works in such i you know i lived in russia and that works the, the information is messy and these individuals who have to make decisions and they don't want to get in trouble they don't want to get in trouble they would put you on the side and uh, double check facts and um, and that works that actually well works. the thing is they would get in trouble if they don't listen to their bosses and their bosses said do this so in order to not get in trouble, they would not listen to you. Um, and I, I, it's worth I, a shot. But I studied from, history of from Russia. The, from yeah, the kind of leadership we have now, it's shut up and do what I say, and if you don't do it, you're in trouble. Yeah, I, I, I studied literature, uh, history of Russia and Germany and many other um, traditional periods like that. And th that happens all the time because you have connections and it, uh, those uh, people who are doing this stuff, they are, um, they, yeah, they, it, it, it's a murky water, but lo lots of people are able to navigate in this murky, muddy water. So. When you, you pretend, you'd have to be really good. You'd have to be really good. Yeah, you have to transform. You have to become one of them. Yeah. Yes, you'd have to be good. But that's how people in Russia survive. They become one of them. Yeah. And in yeah. Germany, in Germany, they just become one of them. That's you uh, know, you mutate into them. You, yep, I hear that. Yeah. The whole countries become united in that transformation because of the fear and they need to survive. Yeah. Yeah. When the system fell apart, you still see people who lived in that system. They still keep their mouths shut and still uh, oh. try to, 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 to blend. And uh, exactly. there was a period, there was a moment in Russia uh, when uh, there was a, uh, how do you say, uh, the coup, the coup, the, the, uh, unsuccessful coup, but they were there for three days holding the power of the bad guys. And um, I was standing in a line for bread. I mean, just regular line for regular bread. And there were like 10 people came in, coming out, out of uh, hiding. <clears throat> and um, I could see how people were uncertain. And one person started uh, developing the, uh, the new speech about the new party line. Uh, saying that uh, you know, the bad, the old guys were bad and the new guys are good and and so on, trying to blend into the new situation. We didn't know that it will fail, and that was very interesting. How everybody else was kind of silent and thinking that maybe it's the way to go. I sort of protected the old the old line. The old um, the old guys were better, really much better. So so that kind of changed the the situation a bit, but. You know, um, everybody was going was was about to fall after the new 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 regime of dictatorial regime. It was palpable. Right. Well, I hear what you're saying, but in this country, it's polarized. The yeah. Republicans and the Democrats both think they're right, and so there's no bad guy except the the other guy. Everybody that doesn't agree with you is the bad guy. That's very different than it was in Russia. This could cause a lot of anger and civil unrest, where the civil unrest was caused against the governments, but 
in this case, it's going to be between the people. Weird. Yeah, I think uh, there is no difference between, they all the same, Republicans and Democrats. They just switch parties easily. I yeah. don't think so. Lind Lind <laughs> Lyndon Johnson, what, Lyndon Johnson was uh, pretty much a Republican, but he had to go with Democrats and become Democratic president just because... That was back then. This is now. Now is very different. Now it's very, very polarized. If you say you're a Democrat to a Republican, there's, there's actually a separation between you. Funny. I think they're all the same. I can't see any difference. Oh, well, if you talk to... <laughs> people that have strong party relationships, you'll find a lot of very strong feelings, very strong. Wow. Very strong. They fight for what they believe. They're fighting for what they believe. So you're, you're uh, this is a different time. I've never seen anything like this in my, uh, my entire life. I've lived in this country for uh, all of my life and there was a time when back then the Republicans and the Democrats did get along and they did cross the lines and they did discuss things and were very interested in what the other one had to say in some cases and did cross over sometimes. But that is not the case in this world. Not now. Um, you are strongly opposed to one another at this point. They're very polarized. That's a very dangerous situation. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know much of what this happened. And my world is more like, how do you call it? I, I'm more on light workers and uh, conspiracy theorists. And I don't hear the other side. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very polarized country at this time. But it's not the only country like this. They're very polarized over Bresnet in in Europe and England, and they're very uh, there's lots of polarization going on around the world. Where one side they're taking sides, and this is an unusual time that we live in, where everybody's starting to take sides. I have never seen that happen before. If you pay attention, you'll see it even on Facebook. The the people that are for Trump and the people that are against Trump, there's a huge gap between them. Huge. Uh, once I came into a, a, a party of people who are all about uh, Jewish conspiracy. And uh, I said, guys, I know everything about Jewish, Jewish conspiracy. That's how we rule the world. I will tell you everything. And um, uh, that, that, that caused some nice laugh. And, um, and when they tried to, um, they probed me with some stuff. And I, actually, I don't know much about some, some of the stuff. Uh, they, they, they are very knowledgeable. But I said, I'm not taking sides. <laughs> yeah, but a lot, of a lot of people in the um, political uh, fields right now are taking sides, definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm on the side of, um, I guess, hybrids. Yeah, we are hybrids here to help the ascension. That's the side I'm on. And I'm not taking sides in other matters. Yes, <laughs> so it's, it is very different nowadays and very, people see things very differently than one another. So it's crazy. I find it a very... I got involved with it myself at to some point, and I'm going now. I have to. I have to stop that. I have to stop that, because it's it's not it's not the right thing to do. So, yeah, my uh, side is on the side of children. I like children. I like animals. Yeah, I do too. I like nature, and nature and children and all those things. Yes, I like all those things. <clears throat> so. Speaking about the, um, who would you think would want to, can you ask them now without going into uh, trance, if there is anyone there to speak to us about the situation? Uh, about what? I don't know about the, that topic. 
what we discussed. The, uh, I mean, about the new development about, about, about the new developments. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. In my mind, there is a uh, Grindel who is pretty. Uh, last time he wasn't. He was allowed to say anything. He so he, he 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 didn't give us any information. He wasn't allowed. But maybe today he is allowed to say something. Well, the thing is. <clears throat> They have been told to stay out of the political realm with us and because it causes problems. And because um, as soon as they say uh, that they like one person and don't like this or something, it's a, it's, there's a hundred people calling me or calling whoever and saying, why is there, why, uh, you know, it's, so they're staying out of the political arena. And I can understand that. They really don't understand our politics anyway. They do to a certain extent, but for the most part, they're pretty much in the dark about how we really feel and how and what's really going on, except for the black and white version that they see from there. So no, no, no. Do a, Grindel they do, knows everything. No, Grindel like, is very knowledgeable. Grindel yes, knows he is, stuff, and, he just is not allowed to say that. He, he's actually working in the political world on Earth. He's the one person that's actually working in the political world in Israel. So he know, knows know. A, quite a lot about what's going on around the world, <clears throat> but he's not allowed to talk about it necessarily. Right. But we can call him if you want. Um, and the second person who was very helpful was Pentium. He, he, because he, he is high, yeah, he is high, uh, uh, clearance level he can make decision what to say uh and if he he needs to check he, he can ask if he can say something and that usually they allow some information out uh yeah. kenjin was very helpful and um also it was lakesh i think is also pretty pretty helpful in, in the such situation well, because he has that ability to to know a lot of stuff well pentium is here um <clears throat> Ish is here, Pentium is here, and well, Grindel is here. All right, so let, let, let them decide whoever can divulge more information for us. So <laughs> those three that you mentioned are here. Well, you didn't mention Ish, but he's here. But Gr Grindel and Pentium are both here. Um, Ish is, uh, uh, I would say, he, we don't have enough time for Ish. He is slow in giving out information. So I would say Pentium or Grindel or, um, yeah, Olakesh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see you. Yeah, we, we have only half an hour. So one, one person. All right. Let me right. see who's coming. I'll just, I'll just go into a trance and we'll see who, which one comes. All right. Thanks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Greetings, this is Pentium. Oh, Pentium, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. So my main question is, uh, I'm very excited about Mikovitz, Judy Mikovitz coming out and um, the situation is much clearer now. <clears throat> Can you clarify it even more? Um, what, what is happening? There is many things happening on your world. You are in a deep state of change all around every place. Now, there are some places that are changing faster than others, of course. Um, the United States is actually not the, the place that is changing the most quickly. There are other places in the world that are in, with greater enlightenment and are changing faster. I'd say, um, but let me tell you what is happening in a broader sense. Yes, enlightening is, enlightenment is coming to the world in some ways. There are those that are realizing that this is not the world that they were born into originally, 
and th that has been said already. But it's not that it's a political thing, it's more of a social consciousness thing. It's, they are not understanding the way that things are happening. In fact, there is much more confusion than there is clarity right now. You may think very clearly about what's happening or feel that you know the energy of change, but many people are under a state of confusion. How could this possibly happen that the world shuts down over a disease? And over a disease that doesn't seem to be killing very many people uh, when it comes to looking at other diseases. So what is happening to us? What is going on here? And why is the world doing this? Also, there's an economic change coming. Uh, businesses are changing how they are doing business. Businesses are becoming more enlightened about what it is they need to stay alive, to stay afloat, to do what it is that they need to do. So this is a time of great change for everyone. But those that are becoming enlightened in the spiritual way are the ones that are truly the, the best ones, because this is the best time for them to make a good decision. They can see the good, the evil, the, the neutrality, the plus, the minus. It is a wonderful time to awaken, to find the truth and see the spirit because the spirit is what will help them to move forward the greatest, will help them to understand what is happening better than anything else. If they truly resonate with the light, the truth will come through. Do you agree? Oh, um, if they really resonate with the light, the truth. Um, believe that? If they really... If they really resonate with what is happening in the, in the light, in with, with the spirit, with all that is good, they will know the truth. Do you believe? Oh, that? you mean you mean they can channel or intuit or see the truth through the spiritual uh, means? Yes. Oh, of course, yeah. So that is what I'm saying. This is a very good time to become enlightened because there is a lot of guidance for you if you resonate where to look, and many of them are looking in the right places, finding the right things, and going and having. Uh, their information tested and trusted by those that they, they uh, understand and the, the spirit is working through. Now, what I, questions I was, would you... I, yes? I, I will, sorry for interrupting. I was confused by... When, when you said the truth, I meant the secrets of the bad guys will come true to the world, and uh, that's a little different. Well, they will know that what is the truth about that as well in some ways. I mean, individual enlightenment, yes. Of course, you, you achieve individual enlightenment by focusing on the, on the positive. Of course. Um, uh, my question was um, about the, yeah, sorry for interrupting, but I was, I was interested in finding out more secrets about the plans of bad guys. Ah. But, but please go ahead. Uh, you, I interrupted you. Please continue. Well, if you want to know that, I can tell you some things about that as well. Thank you. I wasn't sure which direction to go with this because I want, if you are showing this to many people, I want them to hear the positive first and not okay, the ahead. negative yeah. first. Sorry. So therefore, the positivity come through first. Now, what is happening with the bad guys? The bad guys are being um, tested at this point. The bad guys are also being, uh, mm, they're recirculating their theories everywhere to give themselves time to make better plans because their old plans were not sufficient. Their new plans will be much more solid and take effect much deeper in the rooted consciousness of mankind. They are already working on mind control. 
they are already working on waves that are that are connected to mankind that you don't even need an implant for to cause some kind of uh, mental wave disruptions. So yes, they're working on all kinds of things to get the major portion of the population under control. If that doesn't work, then they will cause the population to decrease. They want to, to decrease the population because the population is too hard to handle. There's too many for them to control. And, and as they become more and more, they are out of control and they need more control. So they would want to decrease the planet population by at least two thirds. Now, that is the bad guys, what they want to do, why they want to do it. And there are other things that they are doing as well. But on the other side of that, there's many of them being exposed for their pornographic rings, for child trafficking and human trafficking. There are things happening in that realm that are falling apart for them. But they are not really caring about that as much anymore. If they can control the entire population's minds and the entire population's actions, what, why even have these rings? They can do whatever they want, whenever they want, if they have that control. Why have these smaller rings in clandestine places if they don't need to? They're harder to control. They need worldwide domination. That is what they're looking for. All right. Um, so I assume there is a, a, a positive force working undercovers. Uh, I think they call White Dragon Society, and there are other, other names for that. There, there has, they have many names. Many people call them the Illuminati or the Cabal or these No, no, no the positive of, guys, the positive yes. guys. Yes, oh, the positive guys. The positive guys have many names as well. Uh, the light workers, the, the beings that are doing positive things from I'm here. So, no, I'm talking, what you're talking no, I'm, about? No, no, no. From out here? Uh, among the militaries, there is a faction of good guys who are clearing things up. And what do you call them? Uh, I called. Uh, I heard White Dragon Society, and there were several more names. But basically, uh, among the military and um, I don't know pow the powers. Uh, who, who is doing the positive arrests? Yes. The, yes, those are correct. White Dragon Society. Yes. The thing is about that is these um, do-gooders, as you call them, are under pretty much wraps. They don't want people to know what they're doing. Their plans are important for bringing down the negativity. And so if you uh, call them out, then people will be looking for them. So we do not want to do that because we want them to succeed and bringing down as much of the negativity as possible. So I, I won't mention any more of those groups, although there are multiple ones. The thing is about that is that they, there's too few of them right now. Um, many people are afraid to come up against the negativity because they are dangerous, well-armed, and have a great amount of followers. You may not think so, but they do. And so to work for the positive side, you must be undercover in some ways. And so that is what must happen. But they are definitely there, and they are definitely moving forward. How much help do they get from the aliens? Um, they do get help from the aliens because those aliens that are on the Earth that are doing positive things are some of the ones that have organized these white uh, positive groups. Okay. Now I would uh, say a great percentage of us out here cannot actually be involved directly because we're not per permitted for one thing. But the other thing is, 
we are we're not allowed to step foot on your on your earth those that are grandfathered in those that are already there those are the ones that we're allied with the ones that are starting these groups then we can help those that are already there that are already on the earth with some of the things that we have we can excellent. do that excellent so that makes that is very clear now um I, I was I was having trouble to define which alien groups are controlling the bad guys. Um, they seem like reptilian and draconian, but I'm not sure. Can you clarify that? Reptilians, greys, and some draconians on higher levels. The draconians don't get directly involved. Uh, they are more the leaders, the the strategic minds, if you will, behind some of it. But they don't step, they don't uh, become part of the force. They are the, they are the higher thinking minds of the cabal. Uh, excellent. Um, uh, is it fair to say that it's Draco reptilians? Are they what? Is it the, fair to say that they're called Draco reptilians, the, the force? Mm, yes. And how about Orion reptilians? Yes. How about uh, Arai Nordics? The Nords are involved to a certain extent, but only the ones that were grandfathered in at the time of separation. The time of separation is when they were forced, they forced all aliens off the planet except the ones that had been there for a long time and had been uh, proven to be positive forces for the, for the world. The rest were forced to go away. And now since that period of separation, only the positive aliens that were left behind and negative as well, are the ones that are on your planet. Now you, I know people say, oh, they come and go as they please. But in fourth dimension forms, in uh, other dimensions, in holographic forms, yes, they may appear on your planet all the time, but they're not in a solid form. They're not in full uh, corporeal form, but they, they do appear there, but they are not allowed to do, even do that. But it's hard to detect a hologram coming in. So, but it is easy to detect when bodies are coming in. Nice. That makes sense. But, you know, to, to drive the situation, they don't have to be physically here, right? No. So it looks like uh, a lot of political uh, leaders, especially negative ones, a lot of negative political leaders, are, they seem to be behaving like they're reporting to someone above them. They are. Uh, yeah. Like, there, are many, there are many ships, many species out here that are allied with those that are negative on your planet. The reason for that is your Earth still has many uh, things that they want, need, and desire. First of all, the people on the planet, they would love to harvest this, this planet for the people, for the DNA, for all the things that they can use from the population itself. Plus, there is still gold, there is still uranium, and um, other different uh, uh, major mineral deposits here that are very valuable to those that are off planet. And this would make a nice world for certain different species. They're also now doing, uh, trying to change the atmosphere. Uh, they have been observed doing so uh, by, uh, the very first time that was observed was in Chile they put an ultraviolet light on a ship that was flying through the area and it was a, it was an ufo and they photographed it for nine minutes after about six minutes it started releasing gases into the air and they just witnessed it and photographed it and it has been released to the public but there are many of these ships in other dimensions releasing gases into your world. They're trying to terraform it for their own, uh, for their own use. 
And so there are many negative forces at work. Right, but um, the idea of conspiracy, uh, it looks like now the plan is being executed by a lot of, a lot of cabal workers. So there is some coordination and Yes. Uh, by researching it, it looks like that coordination is not possible by humans. The humans are, the negative humans are not well, that well coordinated. So uh, my question is, is it coordinated from, uh, by the aliens? It is to some extent. There are humans involved in this coordination and organization. There are also uh, beings from underneath the earth that are involved in this coordination. They well, are the subterranean. Guys, uh, the bad guys subterranean? Many of them. Uh, what species are those? Many species, draconian, reptilian, and um, there are others as well. What are their numbers? I don't think there is a lot of them. How many of them are there, mother? like reptilians? Reptilians are in only three different spots, but their numbers subterraneanly are only in maybe several hundreds to a thousand. So how do they, um, so are they in charge of driving the, our politicians? I mean, it looks like some people are controlled or at least get, get uh, instructions daily what to do. So who yes, is, where, some people do. There are yeah. those that are looking for instructions every day. They, mm -hmm. have, they go to a special free area where a frequency is released and they receive their information. So is, is this a control center localized or is it like delocalized uh, network of control? But who is in charge it has of it? To be, it has to be delocalized because uh, those that are good have also very powerful instrumentation and can pick up on all these uh, messages. They cannot, they're encrypted, but they can pick them up where they were given and when. So they can take those areas. So if, if they were to give the same uh, area, the same frequency every day, it would be found out who those people are and it would be stopped. Right. But they have to change their frequency, they have to change their locations, they have to change everything so that they can get this work done as quickly as possible. So to control the whole system, you don't really have to be on the planet. So some remote uh, controllers can be doing the planning elsewhere, right? That is correct. And um, this... They're still draconians and reptilians? What, what's their species? Uh, and what's their species? Yeah. You mean the Zeta Grays and Zeta Reptilians? The, yeah. um, uh, there are other species, but you have no... Um, the Aliashan Dizendi are positive, and the Zespoids mm -hmm. are also posit positive. So those two species of reptilians are not involved with the negative work. Mm -hmm. But there are other um, species from outside the, um, the, the Zaza reptilians are also bad. The Corodians are also negative. But not all of them are seen in your solar system, but they are communicating with it. So the mastermind is reptilian? Pretty much more reptilians and greys. Uh-huh. I was thinking the that greys... There is a great draconian leadership as well, but they are much fewer. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that greys were gone, but actually they are still involved, the, the, the Zetas. Yes, the Zeta greys are still involved. So are there like any names of uh, political alliances in the galaxy which are working against the planet? The Dark Fleet is, that is its full name, the Dark Fleet. They mm -hmm. do, do not go by anything else. The, uh, let's see, there are several, but there, we do not know all their names. Mm. 
and we don't really, uh, they're all encrypted. We hear a lot of encryption messages coming through, but it's hard to break them. And pretty much by the time you would break them, the information is uh, no longer viable. I understand. So we are dealing with an extraterrestrial attack. Yes. With the attack guided by extraterrestrials. Very interesting. There but the is technology is you out there. And there are the eighth and ninth dimensional beings that are also attacking Earth and also attacking Venus and Pleiadians be, for totally different reasons. They don't want control of the Earth. They don't want control of anything. They want to stop the ascension because some religions that will be uh, come from the ascension that will be born from it are, are negative to their future somehow. And there's more to it than that, but we're not sure of all that that is. They, they're, but they're sensing that their future is, um, their future is definitely being uh, damaged by our ascension. Uh huh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so uh, we, we are running out of time, but uh, the key question I wanted to ask um, is the virus seeded? Is what? Is the virus being seeded by the bad guys? Is it naturally just, I mean, no, it, was the, there is a it, it is actually um, made by humans, but with the help of aliens. Uh, the, these are two very different questions. How it, it could be naturally occurring, it could be artificial, but then is it being seeded or is it spreading out naturally? That's a question. Because when they say about the it's second wave... Seeded. It's being seeded. Thank you. But part of, some of it is natural and some of it is seeded. But what happened in Italy and Iran uh, were seeds. Uh, so why don't they seed more? It's too obvious. Really? Sometimes. Well, they, but they, they didn't run seeded, out of it. They right? have seeded more. They did seed some more. Um, and But it was less obvious. That's all. Mm -hmm. Because when they speak about the second wave, it sounds like they already can create it because, uh, you know, because... They can create it, but will they? It depends on several things. There, from the intel that we picked up, it may not be to their advantage to do it right now, to reseed it at this time, but uh, we'll see. Right, right. That's my sense too. I mean, they need, uh, they need certain tools which will be destroyed if they destroy the economy completely. Yes. Correct. So far, they, ha they have been damaging the planet only morally, more morally than physically. These but are only experiments. The greater things are coming. Oh, thank you for, uh, for, um, the, the, for that is funny. I was trying to be sarcastic. Yeah. Thank you for good news. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. I, uh, gosh. I hope that it would be that's it, uh, that we'll kind of come out clean and nice and shiny. Well, you might. No one knows the future. The future is an unknown. And therefore, you must understand that you can change it. All right. Yeah, I know they have the uh, the capacity of creating how do they, earthquakes and other nature, uh, nature <laughs> artificial natural well, disasters. Yeah. Well, I don't. The thing is, I don't really want to be just the bearer of all bad news. I do say that there is much positivity that can come about from this, and right. there is many people on your world at this time that can take charge in a very positive way. And I believe that there are many positive things happening with this. And I believe that there is 
a, a very positive future to come from it. All right, all right. Yeah, because um, the most of that nonsense is happening because of compliance. Correct. Complicity, complicity. In some ways, yes. Complicity. When people are awakened, uh, things have changed radically. When no one is uh, trying to believe in the news, then the whole situation changes radically. Of course. But I just want to say that no one should lose hope. Even though there's a lot of bad news out there, there's a lot of really good news as well. All right. Well, I have um, to go. Yes. Thank you very much. It was, um, it was very helpful to, and some, some really nice information actually came through and uh, the whole message is very useful. Thank you very much. Uh, come again. Much love to you, Max, and your viewing audience. Much love. Because we really want you to succeed and to gain all the positivity necessary for defeating what is happening now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Many blessings. Many blessings. Hello? Hey, Jim, welcome back. Thanks. That was good. Okay, good. Gotta go, and I will talk to you in two weeks. Thank you very much. Talk, talk to have, that. Have a good one. You too.